Open Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. Topic, Victory Through Holiness. Memory Verse, Proverbs 14, 34. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Bible reading, Daniel 6, 19-23. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So, Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of heart was found upon him, because he believed in his God. The message. There is victory in holiness. When the eyes of a child of God are opened to this revelation, he or she will begin to live righteously. Today's memory verse presents a two-edged sword of the truth. While righteousness exalts a nation, sin or unrighteousness brings reproach that comes in the form of defeat to a people. In today's Bible reading, Daniel said, My God had sent his angel and had shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Here is victory in holy living, confirmed by the testimony of the prophet. The Bible says in Hebrews 1, 9, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall remain, according to our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 35. Some Christians claim that it is impossible to live holy. Like I always tell my children in the redeemed Christian Church of God, the fact that you are not living holy does not mean it is impossible to do so. The Bible says, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3 7 to 8. A person is either holy or sinful. There is no midpoint. No sinner will make it to heaven. For this reason, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil in our lives. You are righteous by grace. This grace is what removes boasting because it is not you but Christ in you. This, however, does not make us deny that God helps people to live holy. Pray earnestly for the grace to live holy because of the blessings that come with it. Daniel triumphed over all his enemies. They perished in his place because of his life of holiness. I pray that the grace to live holy will come upon you today and you will live every day in victory from now, in Jesus' name.
prayer point. Father, please help me to live a life that is holy unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please help me to live a life that is holy unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year, 2 Kings 1 to 5. Him for today, conquerors and overcomers, now are we. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.